With Donald Trump winning the 2024 election, one big question is on everyone's mind. What's going to happen to mortgage rates? The markets are already reacting, but what could this mean for anyone considering to buy a home or refinancing? Well, immediately after the results were announced, bond markets reacted fast. The 10-year treasury yield jumped from 4.3% to 4.47%. But why does this matter if you're eyeing mortgage rates? Mortgage rates are closely tied to the 10-year treasury yield. When the treasury yield goes up, mortgage rates usually follow. And right now, lenders are adjusting those rates upward, making it tougher for prospective home buyers. But let's break down what's driving this. Investors are reacting not just to Trump's win, but to what his policies might mean for the economy and government debt. Trump's key proposals include tax cuts, potential tariffs, and new spending initiatives. Economists are concerned that these could boost government deficits, which generally push bond yields higher. Higher bond yields often mean, you guessed it, higher mortgage rates. A rising deficit forces the government to issue more bonds to fund it. To make those bonds more attractive to investors, they usually have to offer higher yields. This, in turn, puts upward pressure on mortgage rates. Even before this election, mortgage rates had been climbing for five straight weeks, reaching 6.72% last week. This election could accelerate that trend. So what's next for mortgage rates? It really hinges on the new political landscape and how power is balanced in Congress. Along with the presidency, with Republicans securing the Senate, the stage is set for a potential Republican sweep if they also take the House. Investors might interpret this as a sign of aggressive fiscal policy, potentially pushing rates even higher. But if Democrats hold the House, markets may see a check on Republican policies, which could help keep bond yields and mortgage rates in check. A divided Congress might act as a stabilizing factor. But to sum everything up, with Trump heading back to the White House, we're likely to see continued upward pressure on mortgage rates. A Republican-controlled Congress could mean even steeper rate hikes, while a divided government might ease the rate climb slightly. So if you're planning on buying or refinancing, keep a close watch on these trends. And if you found this breakdown helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And let me know in the comments what you think of these potential market shifts. I definitely want to hear from you.